coming up today, McKinney is making miracles. One bulldog is bringing warmth to the season. We test the student body's knowledge of the holidays starting right now on NTV. Good morning, McKinney North High School. I'm Sarah Taylor. And I'm Ashley Jones. Thanks for joining us on this special holiday edition of NTV. Every year, McKinney North students come together to collect meals for families in need. In previous years, the project has bagged hundreds of meals. We talked to Student Council about this year's Mac Town Miracles. Student Council's Community Service Committee head, Chibi K. Odu, gives insight to the McKinney project of Mac Town Miracles. Mac Town Miracles is an event that the McKinney North Student Council holds during the December time of the year. And what we do is we make uh, Christmas baskets for the needy families in the McKinney area. Chi Chi says that this year's event has grown to involve not only McKinney North, but McKinney High and Boyd as well. I think one of the things that has really been different is kind of the community involvement last year. Um, the other high schools hadn't helped uh, as much, but this year we saw a lot more involvement from High and Boyd. The event has been a success for a little over a decade in the McKinney area and is now on track to be just as successful this year. It's been a really good event. I know last year we had uh, fed over uh, 750 families, I believe, and this year we weren't able to do as much, but we're also making contributions to the food pantry upstairs. Chi Chi and all of Student Council hopes the community comes to know all that MacDow Miracles is about and encourages the school to help contribute and get in the holiday spirit of giving. One of the things that I would say about MacTown is it's a really big community-wide event and it, it may not seem that way and you may just hear it in the announcements offhand or things like that, see the posters, but I really encourage you all to get involved, bring a couple of cans, and you can get some green cord hours and, and kind of get in the holiday spirit. If you're looking to help donate, the project is in special need of stuffing, mashed potatoes, boxed jello, and cans of green bean and corn, which can be dropped off outside the Stuka room F126. Ten donations will be counted for one green cord hour. This has been Ashley Jones for NCV. If you have questions about how you can get involved with MacTown Miracles, you can contact Student Council at McKinneyNorthStuco at gmail.com. While the McKinney High Schools are making a difference this season through MacTown Miracles, Project Linus is making blankets for children in need. We sat down with one McKinney North student who is making a difference through this organization. Senior Melina Corvu has been volunteering with Project Linus since 2013 and says that her drive has always been about those in need. I guess it was just the thought of being able to help other people made me really happy on the inside. Like I realized I've been very fortunate in my life and I just wanted to be able to share that same fortune with others however possible. While Corvu remains dedicated to Project Linus, she still finds time for other organizations. I also volunteer a lot up at Baylor Scott and White Hospital. I help mainly in the emergency department there, just like handing out drinks and stuff and doing a lot of cleaning. Dallas Project Linus chapter President Teresa Costin says Melina brings something different than anyone else to the project. It's so refreshing to have young people uh, express an interest in charity work. With the great amount of volunteering Coravu has done, she urges others to follow and do the same. My biggest advice would just be to get out in your community. I mean, if you're out looking for it, it's out there. If you'd like to check out Project Linus for yourself, you can visit their website at www.pldallas.org. This has been Rachel Jones for NTV. With the winter break beginning after next week, holiday excitement is buzzing among the students. I talked to some students to test their knowledge on holiday trivia. What two phrases are most commonly found on a holiday gift tag? To and from. Ah! It is to and from. Do you think you're smarter than all the rest of your friends? So, yeah. <laughs> to and from. Merry Christmas. With the gift tag, it's like to blank from. <gasps> oh. Do you think you're smarter than your friend because you knew that answer and she... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You agree? Yes. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling. What are what are they calling? You who? <laughs> Outside the snow is falling. It was a great Christmas day. Is that a song? It is a song, but not the one you just sang. Uh, oh, the kids will play. Something about kids playing. No, absolutely not. Oh. And friends. And friends, we will. Play? I don't know. And friends are calling you who? I don't know. And the reindeer are calling. Not the reindeer. Someone else is calling. Santa's calling. Santa. Nope. Uh, my grandma. Nope. Who, who are you guys? What are you guys to each other? Brothers. Friends. 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 Brothers. Friends. 
You guys aren't friends? No, we're friends. We're not friends. I just assumed since you're standing so close. Outside the snow is falling. And the, the chimney's on fire. Well, I hope not, because isn't Santa in the chimney? Outside the snow is falling. Down. And friends are calling. Down. Outside the snow is falling. Inside. <laughs> the snow is falling inside. <laughs> Bells on whose tails ring? I don't know. Santa's sleigh? Reindeer? Nope. nope. Uh, I don't know. You said you'd know all the answers. I did, and I was wrong. <laughs> Bells on whose tails are ringing? Santa sleigh. Santa? Why would Santa have a tail? How does Santa get back up the chimney? Oh, it, by his magic, um, by his magic bag. There's no real answer to that, so anything you said you probably just made up. It was from the Santa Claus movie, so. Okay, so movies are true then. Yes. Who was the last ghost of Christmas in A Christmas Carol? Oh, I know this one. This is the ghost of Christmas future. Ghost of Christmas yet to come. So thing. close, really. <laughs> really so close. Who was the last ghost of Christmas? Casper. Um. No. <laughs> Name all the reindeer. Rudolph. Dad, mom, <laughs> sister, brother, Ben. Uh. <laughs> Who's Ben? That's me. Name the reindeer. Uh, Cupid, Dancer, Vixen. Uh, Comet, Jupiter. Jupiter? Did you mean Jupiter? Jupiter, maybe, yeah. Jupiter. Jupiter is definitely not one. That's a planet. Oh. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. But there's Rudolph. one of all. Yeah. The most famous reindeer of all. Are you in choir? Yes. Rudolph. Red Nose. No, no. That's what they called Rudolph. <laughs> Name the reindeer. Rudolph. All of the reindeer. Oh, um, <laughs> Dasher and Dancer and Donner and Blixen, Connor and Cupid, and Donner and Blitzen, and Reindeer. No, <laughs> Rudolph. Reindeer? <laughs> Rudolph. What were Frosty the Snowman's last words? Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, nope, remember he was melting? I don't think he was saying Merry anything. <laughs> That's all we have for you today. For more news and sports information, go follow us on Twitter at MNHSNTV. Thanks for watching. Have a great holiday break. Good luck on your finals, and we'll see you next semester, Bulldogs.